All right, so I want to show you something interesting with static variables in the Android system. I have just this simple app right here. There are two activities. Main activity is the launcher. I have a public static string declared called word with the value of null. And in the on create, I give the, var uh, the variable of value and it's just value of static. And I also have logging information in each life cycle. So in on create, I got main activity on create called on resume, main activity on resume called just to kind of give some logging data of the life cycles that are called from each activity. And so there's a fab in here also. Whenever you click it, it starts the new activity, which is main two activity. And in here, and our on create, of course, there's log data again, main two activity on create called to kind of uh, show us the flow of the app. I have a text view in main activity two, and I set the text with main two activity, next line, and the static variable from main activity. And that's what I want to show you that's interesting because I've used static variables a lot without knowing that their memory can be leaked. And I'm going to show you how to leak that memory and how it can affect you, especially if you're using a singleton in instance in the form of a static uh, variable. Because this might be the source of some null pointer exceptions you're getting and wondering how the world is this possible. All right, so the same on resume, on destroy, on low memory. Um, I put them all on there. They're not all guaranteed to fire off, but I just wanted to have them on there just in case. And so I got the the tag in here for the video. I'm going to clear it. Also have the app up right here. So let's see. Okay, so this is our first activity. Main activity is just Hello World, and I hit that fab, and it'll go to activity two. Uh, but I'm going to start over so you can see the life cycles being called. So here it is right here, main activity on create, main activity on resume, I hit the fab, main two activity on create, main two activity on resume. So here's the interesting part, this app, I'm on main two activity, and let's say I want to go home and go look at Facebook or go whatever, and I don't come back to that app for hours later. If everything works correct, it should just take off where I left it. And I'm going to open it again. And of course, on resume is called. Go home. Hit it again on resume because it's resuming that activity. All right. So let's say you don't open that app for a day and you use your phone, haven't powered it off. And you might do some memory intensive stuff. Android's going to need to reclaim that memory. So let's see what happens when that uh, occurs. I have made an app to simulate this. So I'm going to open it real quick. Now notice I didn't click back or anything. I clicked the home button off of this little test app. So when I reopen it, it should just resume it from where I left off. But what you're going to notice is it doesn't resume. It does, but it doesn't. And as you can see, you no know, on destroy or on low memory is being called. Uh, is there's just no trigger that happens to signify to you that Android has reclaimed that memory. And technically it didn't destroy because it's still there, but it just needs to be recreated. So Android is going to try to reopen that activity, which was main two activity, and it's not going to be able to resume it because that memory has been leaked. Uh, it's going to have to recreate itself. And, you know, you would think that if Android destroys that process or destroys the app, whenever I reopen it, I'm going to it's going to call the launcher activity and it's going to recreate it from there. But that's not what happens. It tries to resume where it left off, but it can't just resume there. It's going to recreate it from there. So, with that being said, that main activity that was under it in that stack, right, is going to be in the same situation. So if you have initialized anything in on create in main activity, it's it's not there. And that's kind of the danger of static variables to be aware of. 
uh, because their memory can be leaked and you can get some nulls. So I'm just going to hit clear all and it's going to destroy all the processes I just started. And I'm going to reopen the app and let's see what it says. Main to activity null. And if you noticed, it called on create again and on resume. So it didn't just resume that app. It recreated it from where it left off. And it's remember this uh, text view that set text main to activity and then that static variable for main activity. And as you can see, it's null because that main activity is there, but it's, it, there's no content in it. It's got to recreate itself. And the only reason we're able to reference it is because if you look, we have declared it a uh, class wide variable. So it's there, but because we initialized it in on create, it has no value whenever this process is destroyed. So just be careful whenever you use uh, static variables. And uh, this app that I used is called Spawner. If you want to use it, instead of waiting for hours and opening other apps and doing this and that, trying to make your Android uh, remove that process or reclaim that memory, uh, you can just open this app and it'll immediately begin. It just spawns a bunch of new processes and activities and uh, it doesn't access your uh, device settings or anything like that. It's just an app that continuously spawns different processes and activities and it does so much uh, spawning that the Android system needs to reclaim memory. In fact, I'll hit it again so you can kind of see it. Uh, it's going to prepare. Right now it's spawning 24 different processes. And whenever it gets done spawning those 24, it goes to the process of, of the 25th activity. And then in that activity, we spawn an, an additional uh, 100 um, intents, right? We're spawning another 100 activities here. So altogether, there's 125 activities spawned with a total of 25 different processes which as you can see is eating the memory up here, but you see it go down and up, down and up. That's just the Android system. You're, it's needing memory to do it, but it's also killing off memory at the same time, which is why you see it go down and up, down and up. So it's kind of interesting to see how the Android system, how quickly it reacts and kills off background pro uh, processes. Uh, but whenever it's done, just hit the clear all button. The uh, app may seem unresponsive or the device may seem unresponsive for a couple seconds, but that's just because it's destroying all those processes and, uh, those activities we just created. And so just like that, now that memory from that static variable is leaked and it's null. So be careful if you got references to like databases or anything like that or uh, something you fetch online. Um, uh, there's many ways to remedy it. Remedy it. Uh, you can make proper singletons or you can do a null check in your on creator. You can even use, um, I'm here in JSON and um, shared preferences to persist data. So just depending on your type of data that you need to persist, uh, keep that in mind that static variables can have their memory leaked.